Alright people, welcome back to more card reviews. So yes, you look at the title, you're like, another one? Yes, I don't know why Konami thinks that they had to go back and give more cards to an archetype that was clearly done. Like, Yaksha was like the pinnacle of this archetype. And they're like, another one. Like, alright, alright, DJ Khaled Konami, you need to calm the fuck down. So anyway, we are looking at a new card for Fire Kings, which, in my opinion, is one of my most hated archetypes, just because... My friend, he went to fucking Walmart, and he bought three of them fucking structure decks, slapped them together, and it was fucking annoying. And you know what the sad thing is? He still has that deck to this day. To this day. And I bet if I dueled it, it would annoy the shit out of me again. So just the fact that he gets another fucking card for his goddamn annoying gas, go to Walmart, buy three structure decks, slap them together, and beat my ass that deck. Just kind of pisses me off, but we're going to go ahead and review this card despite that. So today, we are looking at Fire King Avatar Ganesh. So, um, I have never really noticed that, I guess, they're all based off of those deities, those um, figures. I, I don't I don't know what religion or whatever. I'm guessing Hindu, but I, I recognize Ganesh. I recognize the elephant. So, uh, anyway, he is a Fire Beast Warrior effect monster level 4, 800 attack, 200 defense. Shocked about the stats, of course he's searchable with Tenki, of course he can be summoned with Rekindling, which should stay limited. I know there's some people who are like, oh, Rekindling, I can go, no, 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 no. So, yes, yet another card that they can use with Rekindling, I believe pretty much all the level 4 monsters can be summoned with Rekindling, so that's just great. Just you play Rekindling, summon four, uh, you know, 5 of them out of your graveyard and jump you with you know, 5 1800 monsters, and they all hit you directly, that's game. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and look at this effect. So, it's like reads. When a monster effect is activated while you control this card, quick effect, so I guess instead of saying during either player starting confusing people, they decided to reprint the card and put quick effect, so you know this is a quick effect. That's actually not a terrible change. I like it much better than GY. Uh, you can negate the activation if you do destroy one other fire monster you control or in your hand. Wow, but that's totally what freaking Fire Kings needed is some freaking negation. No, they didn't need that, and that's very powerful. This effect is very powerful. So, when a monster effect is activated, period. So, hand, field, graveyard, it doesn't matter. During either player's turn, I can go ahead and just be like, oh, you activated your, you know, ghost dash? Let me go ahead and negate that with my Ganesh, and my Ganesh will go ahead and pop this freaking Garunix in my hand, or, you know, this Barong in my hand, which will, of course, give me a plus, or, you know, the Yaksha, well, I guess would be redundant, because then you pop the Yaksha, and then Yaksha would pop you something, which, is, you know, you don't need that. It's, it's the fact that you can just negate a monster effect anywhere, and then go ahead and you would think, oh, no, you know, we have to even out. You get rid of your one card, I negate it for my one card. Or even if you did, you know, it doesn't say negate and destroy, it just says negate. So if it's like a monster on the field and activates the fact that you negate it, it wouldn't die. But I just go ahead and just pop my Barong or pop my Grunix or pop my Sacred Phoenix. And then you already know it's going to happen. The ball's going to get rolling. So, yeah, thank you for giving them that. That's going to be real, real fun to deal with when dueling against my friend. Especially since this motherfucker is switchable to Tanky and just bloop right on the field. Uh, and he has yet another effect, because that one effect already wasn't good enough. That effect is actually really great. Uh, if this card is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, by card effect, by battle, it does not matter. You can target one Fire Beast Warrior or Wing Beast, so pretty much all your Fire Kings or Grunix or Sacred Phoenix. Monster, target them in the graveyard, except for himself, or another copy of himself, except for uh, Ganesh, and special summon it. All right, so you're cool. You get a Monster Reborn, that's fine. So I kill your wood monster, and of course you get to float, kind of pseudo Monster Reborn, uh, into a monster that I've already gotten rid of, or it's already in the graveyard. Awesome, awesome. Uh, but uh, at least not, that's it, right? No, 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 Had its effects negated. All right, sure, that, that's pretty much what they all say. Oh, also, just to make sure that you know, it's also destroyed during the end phase. So yes, if I kill this, you get to summon back a Sacred Phoenix, and then it will die, and then it will come back. Like, it's just so annoying. It's like that freaking spell card, but instead of summoning from the deck, you summon from the graveyard. Ah, oh, great, great, great. Wow, but keep in mind, keep in mind, this is the one thing that keeps this card limited. You can only use, never mind, you can only use each effect of fire. I thought it said you can only use the effect of Ganesh once per turn. No, you can only use each effect once per turn. Thank you, Konami. Thank you. So, yeah, this card's good. And how many do you run? Three, obviously. This card's really great. Negating monster effects anyway by popping uh, one of your fire 
King Monsters or Grunix or Sacred Phoenix. And then when this guy dies, um, he's destroyed by battle or by card effect. You get to go ahead and Monster Born. And of course, that monster will be destroyed and then come back and use the effect once again or use the effect in the graveyard during the next seven phase, whatever the fact matters. This card is great. It's wonderful. I mean, they didn't need this, but just the fact that they got this is just, oh my god. So. Yep, that, that's uh, my opinion. That's what I think about uh, Fire King Avatar Ganesh. So, anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this card review. Of course, I'll be back on Wednesday with another card to look at. Tell me what you guys think about Ganesh in the comment section below. This card, not the Hindu god, I believe, like I said, I think it's Hindu, uh, uh, in the comment section below. So, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the support. I really do appreciate it. Of course, I'll be back tomorrow with some more Yu Gi Oh! related content. And yeah, thanks for watching.